This week, we highlight another life well lived. In 2017, Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman was a cultural sensation, bringing in more than $800 million at the box office. The hit movie, directed by Patty Jenkins, was heralded for its message of female empowerment. 31 years earlier, an artist named Trina Robbins made a Wonder Woman breakthrough of her own, becoming the first woman ever to draw a full issue of the superhero story. In 1986, Robbins also became the first woman ever to draw a full run of a Wonder Woman series with The Legend of Wonder Woman. Born in Brooklyn to immigrant parents, Robbins was a fan and a drawer of comics as a little girl. She grew up to be a fashion designer and opened her own shop called Broccoli in New York's East Village, outfitting music stars like Donovan and Mama Cass in her stylish hippie designs. In her free time, Robbins submitted amateur comics to the East Village Other, and after moving to California, became one of the creators in 1970 of It Ain't Me Babe, the first comic book produced exclusively by women. That same year, Robbins was the subject of a verse in Joni Mitchell's song, Ladies of the Canyon. In 1989, a group of women creating a new Wonder Woman comic paid tribute to the pioneering Robbins by drawing her into a scene with the superhero she helped bring to life. Trina Robbins, a groundbreaking artist and writer, died on Wednesday in San Francisco. She was 85 years old. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.